Hi everyone, I just came back from the market with my live crab. Here it is. So the first thing you want to do when you get home is to get your crab out of the plastic bag that it came with. You know, they put it in the plastic bag because it's easier, you don't get anything wet, but it's not really going to help your crab really stay alive because it can't breathe through it. So when you grab your crab, make sure you try to grab from the tail end. If it's really feisty, you know, it's safer this way. But my crab, here's my crab. My crab is a little tired. It came back like a, a bus ride, like and a subway ride of about an hour. So it's a little, been out of the water for a while. So it's not as alive, but it's still there. So we're going to clean the crab live because the best thing about eating fresh seafood is to keep it alive to the very last minute right before your dinner. Um, but if you're not going to cook it right away, like maybe you went to the market in the morning, then what you want to do is get a paper bag. Paper bag's more breathable. I put some paper towel and, and put some little bit of water on the paper towel on the bottom of the bag. And then you just put your crab in there. Close it up. And you put it in the refrigerator until you're ready for it. Alright, so here's my crab. I'm going to go ahead and now clean it um, so that we can cook it. The first thing you have to do is make sure that it is um, not really moving around and of course this one isn't. But if it was, all you do is turn it around and then knock its head against the side of the counter and then that will pretty much knock it unconscious briefly which will give you time to go ahead and, and pretty much kill it. Um, I have my butcher knife which is really handy for doing um, the cleaning of the crab. The first thing is to take off the top shell. You get the knife, you kind of wedge it on the, on the side and we're going to try to take off the cap. It takes a little, I'm going to try to do this, it takes some work, some effort. Ah! This one is a little tough. Ah, there we go. I'm going to put that off. And the very first thing is we cut it right in half. This pretty much makes sure that it's totally dead. Now before we start cleaning the crab um, that we just cut in half, I'm going to show you the, the shell. I'm going to pour out, there's some liquid in it. This middle part in here is sort of the what's known as the crab butter. Um, that's just the really sort of creamy part that a lot of people like to eat. I personally don't like to eat it, but um, it's actually something that you want to keep. So even though it doesn't look as appetizing, this is what you want to keep. I personally don't like it, so I actually throw it out, you know, and I clean it out. But some people like it, so we'll keep it. So we'll set that aside and then with the crab itself, the first thing you do is you rip off all these thin parts on the side here. So that comes off just pretty easily. You do the same on this side. Ah. Not as graceful as I hoping it'll be. Alright, and then you snap off the tail part here. You don't want that either. And you know the general rule is anything that you see that you don't really want, you know, you want to just pull that away. My, my crab has a lot of the butter part. Here's the, the tail again. You want to take that off. Oh. See this tail part? We're going to just snap it off. And then remove all of these other excess guts. Okay, I brought this bowl here because I actually wanted to show you some more of the guts that I'm taking out. See all this green stuff? You want to get rid of that. And I would do it over my sink, but because I don't want to bother sort of um, 
moving my camera I'm just gonna do it over this bowl and see you just you just want to get out you know all the things that you probably don't want to eat anyway and just looking at this it's not something that's very appetizing but it's it all kind of moves off and then kind of falls out all together and then you just get rid of it give your crab a rinse and then you can cut it into segment which is what we're going to do right now so go put this away and then I just kind of cut the crab you know just into segments so that it makes it easier when people want to eat it that's all the legs, that's one side we'll do the other side so it really helps to have this nice big butcher knife it really can cut right through it's not going to be totally perfect but you get the idea there we go so here's all our crab meat ready to cook